Also tonight, an up, update on a former Las Cruces High School teacher who admitted to fondling students. The Supreme Court ruling Patrick Howard be placed back on probation and any other action involving the case be halted until there is a formal ruling on whether Doñana County Judge Douglas Driggers violated the Victims' Rights Act. Target 7 told you how a Doñana County judge released Howard from his probation two years early and his victims were not notified when a judge held that hearing that released him. I would tell them that them even considering it is awful and that if they're working in criminal justice, they're not doing any justice for the victims. Following today's news, Target 7's John Cardinelli spoke with the Attorney General after a news conference. And John, how is he feeling about Howard's probation being reinstated? Well, Shelley and Doug, you may remember Attorney General Raul Torres filed that complaint about Howard's probation less than a week ago. Today, he said he's glad to see results come so quickly. Take a listen. Well, I think it's it's a really strong and encouraging signal from the Supreme Court that they acted on the stay as fast and um, as expeditiously as they did. But our reporting didn't only spark the attorney general to file a complaint. He's now telling us he wants to form a group to make sure rights of victims are followed under state law. Target 7 told you how victims of Patrick Howard were not notified when a judge held a hearing to release him from probation two years early. I had nightmares because of it. I was afraid to sleep for a really long time. Under the New Mexico Victims' Rights Act, victims must be informed about proceedings involving their offender. Earlier this week, Target 7 told you how since 2018, there have been about 380 victims who have filed complaints with the Victims' Rights Project, alleging police, prosecutors, and judges have violated their rights. Linda Atkinson has been tracking the data. It has been going on and on, and there's no remedy. But on Thursday, Attorney General Raul Torres announcing he wants to create the Office of the Crime Advocate to make sure the rights of victims in New Mexico are being followed. The office would be charged with receiving complaints from crime victims and ensure court proceedings comply with the state constitution. We just decided it was time to do this because what occurred to me was what had happened in Doñana County in the last couple of weeks may be happening all over the state and according to Linda is happening routinely. And Torres is calling on the legislature to help fund the new unit. He hopes he can accomplish this during the upcoming special session. I'm John Cardinelli reporting KOAT Action 7 News. Torres is also urging legislators in this special session to allocate money for a rapid DNA analysis tool for law enforcement.